guys and welcome to the Starjoy Gold channel. My name is Lori Green and I am the instructor. I am also the developer of the pencils. The owners of the company that created these pencils are Julie and Andy and the company's name is HG Legend. Starjoy Gold is a brand. It was manufactured exclusively by Andy and Julie in a manufacturer that they own. No other company will have these pencils. These are unique. They're like Prismacolor. They're like Polychromos. Only Prismacolor sells Prismacolor pencils. Starjoy pencils are sold only by HG Legend. This channel will be exclusively using the Starjoy pencils. I also have a channel, Color My World. A lot of you that came to me early on on this channel are coming from that channel. But I would imagine this channel is going to grow in its own direction, and that's what I'm hoping. I will put my regular channel in the description box below and up in a card on the top right of your screen. So, you are a beginner. And this channel is going to cater to beginners. I am not teaching you how to color in coloring books, although we will be using coloring books at least at the beginning. I'm teaching you how to use your colored pencils to create three-dimensional pieces of artwork. The fact that we are using coloring books, well, that's a plus. It takes many years to learn how to sketch. You are here to learn about color theory and how to use colored pencils. If you are here, we are using the Starjoy Gold Set. This is not only a teaching set, but it will take you all the way through intermediate coloring and beyond if you need it. Um, hopefully, by the time you become an advanced artist, you are working with a professional pencil. I'm not going to classify these as professional pencils because professional pencils come with some sort of information about light fastness. So we're going to take a look at the Starjoy pencil set and why they are put in the order that they are and why we chose the colors very carefully for this set. So let's open it up. You, of course, have yours in the beautiful box that Andy and Julie designed. It is the Starjoy box. You can leave them in the box. There is no reason that you need to take them out. I like to use a um, Bisky book because it's easier for me to flip through and find things like a snap. What I do is I just write in the number of the pencil. These pencils are in consecutive order. They should be very easy to put back in the book in the proper order that they should be in, why they are in the order that they are in. Now, the first 54 pencils, they go from red to, to VR. What does that stand for? On the pencil, it's going to have a common name, okay, or a color name. This is Seafog. It's 45 because that's the number that it is in the set. It's arranged, so this is the 45th pencil in the set, and then it has a color key, and it says BV, blue, violet. Violet is the color that it is, and the B is the undertone, and that's going to come become very important when it comes to picking out pencils. I made this extremely easy. I gave you what the pencil was. Over here, you have 46 V. V is violet. BV would be blue violet. Here's another one. 52 VR. V is violet. R is red. It's the 52nd pencil in the set. It's called Razzleberry. The most important thing for you to know about a colored pencil is what its undertone is. And when you're using these pencils, always be mindful of what that number is at the end. So the first 54 are what we call analogous colors. And what that means is that they sit next to each other on the color wheel. On this set, there are three choices, okay? Three different colors that would come under each category. So say over here, you've got 26 YG. There are three YGs in this set. They sit next to each other. It is not necessarily a light, medium, and dark VB. Why? Because for it to be that way, it has to do with tone. And we're going to have a whole lesson on tone. So just think of this as your choices of what you have. 
because there is something called lineal tone that we will learn later on where a pencil can have be two different colors but the same tonal value and that is much more advanced that we will be learning so for you at the beginning level on day one just know you have three color choices in each category and that goes there are 18 categories and they go up to pencil 54. Now, on pencil 55 through pencil 66, and that's over here, it changes. All of a sudden you have, you go from 54 VR, now you have 55 J. J stands for jeweled. Now we're going to learn a lot about these colors. A jeweled color is the most saturated that color is. It usually sits dead middle. It's not a blue red. It's not an orange red. It's a red. If you have an orange, you're not a red orange. You're not a yellow orange. You're in the yellows. You're not a green yellow. You're not a orange yellow. You are a yellow. I have your jeweled colors here. Why didn't I put them in with these colors because you need to be able to pick it out quickly. On large sets, you don't wanna be coloring every single pencil to find your mid-ground pencil. And when you're new, you might not even be able to recognize that. It's a skill that comes later on. So I separated it out for you. When you need that solid color, dead smack in the middle, and you will need them when we're learning how to pick colors, You've got them right there in the J's. Now, in addition to those mid-tone colors, J stands for jeweled. Jewels usually are natural stones. So you may have like an aquamarine that is a jeweled color because aquamarine is a color that is found out in nature in a jewel a diamond, a ruby, an emerald. It is a jeweled color. So I did include more to give you more. And these are still going to become very important. So you're going to always look to your J's as your mid colors. Separated in their nice little um, area all to their own. After you have the J's, which run until... Pencil 67. 67 suddenly changes to, we have right here, MP. MP stands for Muted Pastel. Muted colors are colors that they added gray to. Pastels are colors that they added white. You'll, you'll hear the word pastel also simultaneously using the word tint. Tint, tone, and shade. When you tint something, you add white. When you tone something, you add gray. Mute, and, it, and the color becomes muted. And when you shade something, you add black. So it's tint, tone, and shade goes with your muted and pastel colors. I gave you lots of these. These could have been put in with these colors. But these colors have a purpose your center lights and you're going to learn about lighting center lights is the point where the object is the highest towards the light source these are things that you're going to be learning about do not stress over not knowing about this to find that color quickly that you don't screw it up it's going to be an automatic find for you 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 turn to your muted and your pastel colors. To make things a little bit more complicated, sometimes a pastel, which is the saturated color plus white, also has gray in it. It creates a really beautiful muted pastel. And I have included them in here. You can get entire sets of pencils that are just the muted and the pastels. They're called pastel sets, but they usually include the muted colors too, or at least the muted colors that have the white in them also. They're beautiful colors. They're usually very light. 
Um, a lot of people tr try to make them darker by coloring heavy with them. They weren't meant for that. They are very light pencils. They they're saturated. They've got enough pigment in them, but they're never going to be darker than what the color is meant to be. So if you're coloring with this color, you're ne no matter how hard you try with this pencil, it is never going to be this color. So keep that in mind. Your muted and your pastels, I've separated out. Beautiful area. Now, next area, it goes into your S's. What's an S? Skin tones. Now, some of your, your lighter skin tones are pastel, and that's why they're next to each other. So if you turn the page, here you have start your skin tones, and then when you turn the page, all of these are still pastel and muted colors, but they are separated out with an S because these are the pencils that you will turn to to do your skin tones. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to pick up an ultra yellow pencil and make a mistake thinking that that would be a good skin tone. You will get a good skin tone here. This group right here are your browns. They are marked as skin tones. There are many different types. There's red browns and yellow browns and mid browns. I did not think to put the color brown on it in these colors. And the colors that I have chosen will allow you to create almost any type of skin tone. And you would be picking your foundations by using your undertone. I included everything that you will be able to use to pick, to make any type of skin tone. Then you have a small section over here. It suddenly turns to the green and purple and blue and sepia. Okay, now how did that come about? These are color correcting pencils. And just like in makeup, you would counterbalance a skin tone. If your skin tone is too red, you can add a green. These will color correct and bring your skin tones to a more neutral palette. And they're very important. And they're not included in most sets. And when they are included, people don't usually understand why. So these are your color correctors. They to have a CC. Why didn't I include these two, these three greens over in here? because these greens are not really the tones that you would use to correct skin. Here, these are the tones that you would use to correct skin problems. Then the last area, now these are just my extra pencils, it skips a space. Here are your grays. Why did I include so many grays? Because these are your tool colors. These will mute and darken and shade all the other colors in the kit. A good set has a lot of gray. I've seen Amazon reviews out there on pencil sets where somebody will complain there's too many grays. There is never too many grays because one gray pencil will turn these colors 10 different shades. These should be your shortest pencils in your set. Now what is missing in this set? Well, it's the white pencil. And because I was realistic, the white pencils that come out of China that are on the budget level, including every set that walks out of the manufacturer in China, is subpar to a good professional white pencil. Think of white as your tool, one of the most important colors in your set, and you need to get a good professional white pencil no matter what uh, set you own. I have two that I do recommend, although I do like Prismacolor White, is very nice. I have Holbein Soft White, which is different than their regular white pencil. I will leave a link to it in the description. This is OP501. This is my go-to pencil for white for any set from Prismacolor to Polychromos to every single pencil set that I own and I own them all. This is the white pencil I go to. 
when this is too much, because sometimes this could be a little bit waxy, I usually use this at the end. I use Derwent Chinese White Drawing Pencil. Now that is different than any other Chinese white that may come out of Derwent. And I believe there's more than one because people have made the mistake and not bought the drawing pencil. So the two that I am recommending, well, I do recommend um, Prismacolor because I do like Prismacolor. Prismacolor is a good white pencil. My, then it's not in my top two. My top two, again, is the Holbein White Soft OP501 and the Derwent Chinese White Drawing Pencil. And that takes care of your set. Do not take them out of the order because some YouTubers said, it's not my way of doing it. There are a lot of ways of doing things. This set is going to teach you a lot in the way it was put in here. We are going to be grabbing and learning all that there is to you for you to know to become a fantastic artist by learning your undertones. And the way this is set up, you will be able to grab and recognize those undertones way faster than if you had a 250 pencil set. These pencils, the shades that were chosen, are far enough away from each other tonal wise that we can create every single color that Prismacolor puts out and every single color that Polychromos puts out. Luminous, uh, Carandash, and they have some pretty unique colors and I haven't attempted to even try to make their colors, but I'm I'm going to do it someday. But I could say that the Polychromos and the uh, a Prismacolor colors can be created with this set. That ends our first lesson, and I will see you in lesson two. At the end of the video, there will always be a next one. It's going to take me a couple videos to build it up. I'm going to be putting these in order. The number that you should be watching it from one, two, three will be very visible in the in the thumbnail and I will always put the next video that you should watch in the back. I will see you in that video. Take care. Bye-bye.